Hey, how are you? My name is Will Mead and I own Shark Coast Tactical and I'm here to tell you about the new Norm suppressor wait times from the ATF. We're at my gun shop in Sarasota, Florida. We're on Bee Ridge Road. If you're ever in Sarasota, come see us. We've been doing suppressors for over 13 years since we opened back in 2011. It's a wonderful thing what's happening right now with um, suppressor wait times. So if you didn't know, about four weeks ago, suppressor wait times just started exploding, if you will, in quickness. We got our first four hour stamp on Monday after the weekend and we were kind of surprised. We didn't really say anything. We thought it was just some kind of clerical error. Um, and then ever since that time, about four weeks ago, suppressors, have, the wait times have been wicked fast. We saw them in three hours, four hours, one day, two day, three day, seven day, two weeks, one month. And then of course the e-file system shut down so we thought it was something bad. And then lo and behold, when the e-file system opened back up after four days and the stamps continued to fly. The ATF had a town hall meeting on Friday. And what the ATF said in the town hall meeting is the fast suppressor wait times or NFA wait times is the new norm. Meaning that for most people, you're going to have your wait time on an NFA stamp be between three to seven days. What we are seeing right now, and we move a lot of cans, is we're seeing times at three days. Meaning we will sell a suppressor on Friday, and then we will get the stamp back on Monday. That seems to be the new norm, just like the ATF was talking about. Now, um, we don't know, of course, if this will stay, and we hope that it will, but it's it's really neat and people people are buying boatloads of suppressors. What was said in the ATF town hall, was it was pretty interesting. Um, first off, one lady came up and said that she was pretty comfortable with the standard year suppressor wait times and um, ATF didn't see a need for it to be different. But then another guy popped in and said, hey, I, I had this idea of changing the system around and this is what I did. So traditionally what the ATF would do was if you had somebody who had a funky background check, like a, something which would cause a delay in the NIC system, picture a line of 8,000 people who are buying suppressors. And then at the front of the line, you have a guy with a funky background check. And the guy with a funky background check would cause the whole line to wait. And then you'd have good people and then another funky guy and another funky guy and another funky guy. Thus causing the absurd wait times that you see when you buy NFA items. So what this guy from the ATF had, his idea was, let's just move the people from the funky people, the problem people from the line and move them to their own line. And thus the fast wait times was born. The guy who was speaking was real positive and seemed pretty cool. The result is, is these absurd fast wait times. The meeting was Friday and all through Saturday and all through Friday, we got major stamps back at a record pace. And the time is consistent with what the ATF is talking about. So the new norm, and when you hear that, you're like, you'll see that word throughout Gunland, throughout the social media and throughout the different, the different platforms, because that's what they said. They said this wait time on NFA stamps is going to be the new norm. NFA items include suppressors, short barrel rifles, short barrel shotguns, um, any other weapons and machine guns, hopefully they'll all be wicked fast. So what lots of people are doing are they're buying cans. Um, they, cause essentially it's almost like it's legal. You don't have to wait anymore. You still have to pay the stamp, but the wait time is minuscule to what it was. Like back in the day day, you would wait six months, year. I remember when it got out of hand at one point, it was 13 months, but now three to five days and it's pretty incredible. My gun shop, we move a lot of cans and I think we've seen maybe a couple hundred come back so fast. Like we've seen a lot more coming back every day and I advise you to take advantage of the opportunity. Um, hopefully it'll be the new norm and hopefully we'll see these suppressor times like this forever and everybody can enjoy the silence. If you have any questions, you can go to our social media, um, Shark Coast Tactical on Instagram, we're banned on Facebook. You can also go to our X page, our website, sharkcoasttactical.com, or just call us at the shop if you have any questions. And if you're in the area and you wanna grab a can, come on down. I'm Will Mead from Shark Coast. Thanks.